help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. What do you think of the state of the crew? There are some issues. You better talk to the crew yourself. Some are... discontented. Anything else, Commander? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? We installed the IFF and we're good to go. As long as we're ready for where we're going. The chance of coming back is... small. Anything else, Commander? We'll talk later. Commander. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured That's it for now. See you, Commander. The crew is still working to get the Reaper IFF installed, Shepard. It is more complicated than I first anticipated. I will alert you once the system is ready for shakedown. Is there anything else I can do for you? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's good. Everything's upgraded and better than ever. Uh, if we're talking about the crew, you'd probably have to ask a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Shepard. Anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, I've realized how much more there is. 
You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a Spectre. Why did you fight a Spectre? A Torian named Nihilus. He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. What have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town, making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authorities' care and continued my pursuit. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it, until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area. I discovered the shipment was slaves, to be traded to the collectors for advanced technology. You supported the slave trade? In my foolish youth, I'd certainly engaged in questionable practices, but never anything patently unjust. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. Then, I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues, and released the captives on the Citadel. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. We'll finish this mission, and live to see the end. I hope you are right. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? If you wish. The last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone, staring at walls of metal and plastic? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course.